Today, we're going to be doing something so evil, so sinister, so unspeakable that it cannot be done on television. It cannot be done in the movies. And God help you if you try to do this in an advertisement. Actually, all we're going to be doing is like mixing Coke and Pepsi together, try a few other combinations. Some of what I said was true. So here we are in the dining room of our new apartment, and I had this really interesting idea. And you have to know a little bit about me to understand what's going on here. Is that I'm kind of consider myself like a pop connoisseur, so in a sense, I like a whole lot of different pops. There's very few that I don't like. And one of the things that happens sometimes is I'll be drinking something and I'll be like halfway done. I'll be like, oh, I kind of want a full glass again. So I'll just put something else in it. And then I end up with this combination. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. It's about 50-50. So this got me thinking that, you know what? I should just do the whole thing. I mean, look down here. I've got every potential combination of pop you could think of down here. Well, okay, not really. I only got six of them because I have to limit myself somewhere. Because this little make, this little pyramid of pop combinations is probably going to get pretty crazy if I had more than six. But in any case, the ones we have here are Coca Cola, Pepsi Cola. A&W root beer. I would have preferred Barks, but A&W works. Dr. Pepper. Canada Dry Ginger Ale. I don't know if they sell this in the States or not, but... Mm. And Mountain Dew. Now, I like all of these, and to be absolutely certain that these are all going to taste right, I've created a control group at the bottom of this pyramid. So the six at the bottom there are all just the pure flavor. So I'm just gonna quickly test them all just to make sure they all taste right. So Coke. That's Coke. Pepsi. That's Pepsi. And for those of you curious, I actually prefer Coke to Pepsi, but they're both good. Root beer's fine. Dr. Pepper's fine. <clears throat> that didn't go down right, but it tastes fine, so. <laughs> the ginger ale's fine. And the Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew's fine. So now, let's get to the actual combinations. So first up we have Coca-Cola and Pepsi. I don't know, we'll call this one um, Coxy. Isn't Coxy like one of those slang terms you use when you're not sure what you want to drink? Ah. So, bottoms up. Hmm. Kind of really tastes like Yeah, can I take... Actually, you know, you know those generic colas you can buy at the grocery store? That's what this tastes like. So now they're getting a little more interesting. Next up we have Coca-Cola and root beer. I don't know, we'll call it Coke beer. <laughs> I suspect this one will be fine. Actually, you can barely taste the Coke. It just tastes like a nutty root beer. Go figure. Next up we have Coca-Cola and Dr. Pepper. I don't know, we'll call this one Dr. Coke. I don't know what to expect, I've never done a combination like this before. Yeah. It tastes like generic cola, but worse. Mm. Now we're getting into the scary territory. This here is Coca-Cola and ginger ale. I kind of don't want to try this one because ginger ale. <laughs> oh, we should probably come up with a name for it. We'll call it um, ginger coke. <laughs> but ginger ale is notorious for not mixing well with a lot of things, so uh, high hopes. Mm. 
Yeah. Let's just call that one bad. <laughs> and then we have Coca-Cola and Mountain Dew. Now, this may sound crazy, but I have actually had this combination before. This isn't actually all that bad. Mind you, it's not all that great, but, you know, it's not bad. <laughs> and yeah, it does taste like... Tastes like Coke Dew. That's what we'll call it, Coca-Cola Dew. <laughs> so next up we have Pepsi and Root Beer. We're going to call this one um, Pepsi Beer, I guess. You know, it almost sounds like some kind of alcoholic thing, but... Root Beer's the same way, but... Again, the A and W root beer seems to be really powerful. It just over overpowers the cola flavor. So all you taste is root beer. Next, we have Pepsi Cola and Dr Pepper. We'll call this one Dr Pepsi. Funny thing, when I was pouring this particular combination, it gave an interesting and actually somewhat pleasant smell. So I have high hopes for this one. Wow. That actually tastes pretty good. <laughs> Dr. Pepsi, who'd have thought of? And now we have Pepsi and ginger ale, which we will call Ginger Pepsi. <laughs> Just no. <laughs> And finally, for the Pepsis, we have Pepsi and Mountain Dew, which we'll call Pepsi Dew. Considering Coke and Mountain Dew goes pretty well, not perfectly, but well enough, I have a feeling this won't be too bad. Hmm. Actually, it's pretty... <clears throat> doesn't taste like much of anything, really. Now we're getting into the even more scary territory. Now we have A&W Root Beer and Dr. Pepper. <sighs> Let's give it a go. <clears throat> Again, the A&W Root Beer just overpowers the flavor of the Dr. Pepper. So you, all you're tasting is root beer. It's so weird. Now let's do a w root beer and ginger ale. Okay. Root beer is also not very good at making combinations. Like, I mean, as you've seen so far, the root beer flavor is just overpowered all the other flavors. So root beer and ginger ale. Here goes nothing. <laughs> oh wow, I actually taste, it's like a generic candy flavor, <laughs> I'm serious, it, it isn't bad, it just, it's, it's like if you bought a can piece of like some random candy at a store and ate it, that's what it tastes like. And now, a and Root Beer and Mountain Dew. I don't know about this one. This one, totally blind. <laughs> it doesn't taste like much of anything, <clears throat> though. Wow. It doesn't taste like much of anything, but that smells bad. <laughs> Get into the home stretch here. Dr. Pepper and ginger ale. <laughs> oh boy. Wow. That... <laughs> That's weird. God. How would I describe? You know those candy. <clears throat> Sorry. 
You know those candy things you get, like those powdered candies that you get at Halloween that are in those like little strips and they're like pill shaped? That's what this tastes like. I don't know if I like it in liquid form, but... And now, Dr. Pepper and Mountain Dew. And I just realized I stopped naming these things because, you know, <laughs> I kind of just want to get through this because some of these are, some of these are scary to think about. <laughs> You know what, I'll name, them, I'll name them on screen in the video, so you'll have been seeing that this whole time, so... Here we go, Dr. Pepper Mountain Dew. <coughs> That's like teetering on the edge of don't want to drink. <laughs> and finally, ginger ale and Mountain Dew. Here's to you, Internet. <laughs> yeah. yeah! How is it that the war that combination's the worst? Yeah. I'm sorry, I'll stop doing it. Yeah. Okay, now I'll stop doing that. So, that surprised me. Ginger Ale and Mountain Dew. I didn't, it was the last one in the set, and it was the worst one. But yeah, so, <clears throat> I just thought I'd give that a try. It was just a really, <laughs> just a really crazy idea I had. So, anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed, and, because <laughs> I sort of did and sort of didn't, but, at least I have a better idea of how some of these go together now, so... I'm not sure which one surprised me the most. Um, I think one thing that surprised me was just how much the root beer overpowered everything. It, like, you couldn't really get a distinctive flavor with any of the root beer combinations. And Coke and Pepsi together is just... tastes like generic cola. So, if you prefer Coke over Pepsi, or you prefer Pepsi over Coke, I wouldn't mix them together because then you're just going to get store bought cola, your store brand cola. So this, just save your money and buy the store brand cola. <clears throat> but yeah, for those curious, the reason why I prefer Coke over Pepsi is because. Excuse me, I'm getting cats now for all the pop. The reason I prefer Coke over Pepsi is because Pepsi is a sweeter flavor than Coke. And I actually prefer the fact that Coke isn't quite as sweet. It has a more defined flavor to me, whereas Pepsi just tastes you know, sweet cola. I don't know, that's, that's just how it is for me. I know there's a lot of people out there who prefer Pepsi over Coke. Perfectly fine. Pe Pepsi's not bad. I just prefer Coke, that's it. <laughs> so, anywho. Um, not much else to report on. Um, I'm actually probably going to be going to see um, Pixels later today, so I might comment on that on my next video blog. I heard it's heard it's been getting terrible reviews, but then video game movie, what do you expect? <laughs> Adam Sandler is actually one of my favorite actors, so that should be an interesting thing. And yeah, not too much else to comment on. So see you guys in the next video. Oh yeah, before I forget, you may have seen this hanging at the side of the table. This is a mixture of all six pops together in one glass. Little bonus for you guys who like to watch to the very end. Wow. Would you believe that that actually doesn't taste that bad? <laughs>